Hey you guys, so I just quickly wanted to come on and uh, make a video about everything that has gone on with Gabby Petito. I've gotten a lot of DMs um, from you guys saying, can you look out for her? I know you're in that same area. For those of you guys that don't know what's going on, in case you haven't, I don't even watch the news, but I know because of you guys what's going on. A YouTuber by the name of Gabby Petito, I think that's how you pronounce her name, was doing like van life um, with her fiance and went missing and uh, it's been like a huge thing. It's been in the news. Um, a lot of people are asking me to bring awareness about it because, um, you know, maybe somebody that watches my videos uh, can keep their eye out for her and maybe we can all help each other try to find her. Unfortunately, as I'm filming this video, I went to go see what her last name was and this is like breaking news that um, it looks like the FBI found her remains in Wyoming, which is like literally heartbreaking and kills me to hear something so tragic that has happened. My heart goes out to Gabby and her family. Um, but with that being said, I think it was important also to still make this video because I kind of wanted to let people know about the dangers of van life and even just RV life in general. Um, and I'm sorry, it's so windy. You can probably hear the wind. Um, but the, the wind is actually something that brings up a good point And that is a lot of people watching YouTube um, or seeing Instagram posts of everyone doing van life has gotten very popular lately um, and it makes other people really want to do it also and I don't think they realize how dangerous van life can actually be and please don't get me wrong and don't let this video discourage you from doing van life because I think it's probably one of the coolest things um, that someone can do and traveling is so amazing especially like in your car or your RV um, and it could be a magical thing, but it could also be very dangerous. Something that I don't think people realize, or at least from the videos I've watched, is a lot of like solo female, like van life travelers um, will always talk about like all the safety precautions that they take, you know, when they're traveling, especially because they're filming and like people are watching them and people are crazy, trust me. Like we have some really weird people that follow us and also some just like scary, like stalker people. And most people that have a YouTube channel are gonna have something like that but you don't realize like also in person like that those people follow you in person and so something that we do and a lot of people do is that they post you know after they've been somewhere so they're not posting in real time and that also goes for Instagram stories a lot of us have protection um, I think you know what I mean there's that they take a lot of safety precautions but I think the one thing that people don't realize and this um, brings up poor Gabby situation is that if you are not traveling solo and you're traveling with somebody, sometimes the person you're with can be the most dangerous person. And the, and the reason being, and you would never think this, this is like the love of your life, you know, they were engaged to be married. So clearly they were very in love with each other, but it takes a very special kind of person to do van life or RV life. To be with somebody 24 seven is a lot. And it's, like if you have a best friend for instance and you guys spend 24 seven together, like you guys will fight and bicker and argue, right? And even if you're like married or you have a boyfriend or a girlfriend, you know like when you're with that person um, a lot, you guys fight or you argue, right? That happens. But when you are doing van life or RV life, um, people are not used to being with each other 24 seven, you know? <laughs> Let alone being cooped up in a small space. And um, some people think like, oh, well they're traveling, they get to like adventure, they go to like these like, you know, national parks and do hikes and they can get away from each other. But what happens when it's raining? Or like right now, it's a, it's a beautiful day. Let me show you. For instance, this is a great example. You would see this online and think like, oh my gosh, she's in the middle of nowhere. They're boondocking. It's so beautiful. Let me show you this. Like how it is gorgeous where we are, you know? And so if I'm posting this online, um, I mean, it's kind of hard to see, but you get the idea. I can't go outside right now because it is so windy that like, I, for one, like the dust goes up on my like face and my skin and it and it like the sand you know the little rocks and it hurts <laughs> that's how windy it is and it's also so windy that when you try to open the motorhome door it either will swing open or or shut back on you <laughs> um and you know a lot of times it takes a while to get from point a to point b if you want to go somewhere else so it's not always easy to get out and about when you're traveling and i think sometimes people don't talk about this um, and or if it's like raining or whatever my point is is like you're cooped up a lot of times and you can fight and you can argue and a lot of times people have protection and things can go wrong I think that I mean I don't I don't know the whole story 
so um, I can't really speak on that but I'm just assuming um, that you know something like that might have happened I don't know for sure all I know from what's been told in the news and online is that you know they were together and then she went missing and then he went home and then now he's supposedly missing some people are saying he's not really missing he's more like on the run that his family is not really cooperating with the police so well and now all of a sudden her they think her body and her remains have um, been found in Wyoming Ugh. it's just such a tragedy and it's so heartbreaking and I don't want this to happen to anybody else and so this is like my PSA to anybody that's doing van life or thinking about it please like I said do it have an amazing time but please be safe and um, really think about who you're going with and are you okay gonna are you gonna be okay with this person 24 7 maybe before you do van life together try staying in your house together for a long period of time and see how you guys do um, another thing is like you know even if you were able to get out you, you're traveling far from friends and family so you don't really have someone to like go you know stay with or something if shit goes down you know or like things get bad it's just it could be a very scary dangerous thing is all i'm saying and so i just kind of wanted to warn you guys and let you know um just be careful be safe uh and and really think about what you're doing and who you're going out with um and if you are doing it solo that's great um but also think about with it like getting lonely um because a lot of times people can get really lonely when they're doing van life and traveling um you know everybody makes everything look amazing online and on youtube but um you know majority of the time these people are not posting the fights the you know the loneliness the depression the real raw shit that's actually going on when they're doing these travels and i think you know our family gets a lot of heat and um you know our comment section is like a shit show because you know we leave in a lot of stuff that like most people wouldn't but that's because like we we want to be real we don't want to just show good stuff all the time anyway that's just like you know my input and um my psa again my heart goes out to gabby's family my condolences are with them please guys just be careful be safe out there it's already a freaking crazy ass world like let's <laughs> Let's not make it anything more crazy. Um, be safe. I love you guys. I'm sending you all my love and all my positive energy and hope to see you in my next video. Mwah.